Today we're not talking about driving hard. We're, n- we're not talking about driving at all, actually. Um, today we are going to talk about gaining German citizenship through your birth mother. If this applies to you, keep watching. If not, maybe you'll learn something. I don't know. But that's what today's show is about. Let's get into it. Here's a quick rundown of my situation. Um, I was born in 1967, and at the time of my birth, my mother was still a German citizen. After my birth, there is a window of opportunity uh, where my parents could have granted me the dual citizenship with Germany, but my mom was 19 at the time, and dad was, you know, 23, 24 years old, so that really wasn't on their mind. Um, And then that window closed. And after that, you could only gain German citizenship through the birth father. Well, things have changed. In this video, I'm going to share all the information you need to uh, apply for German citizenship through descent or by birth through your mother. Um, This is possible because of some rule changes that happened in August of 2021, and that window closes August 19th of 2031. I am not educated as a lawyer. This is my road to citizenship, and it just might help you. Step one, you're going to contact the German embassy in Washington, D.C., and they're going to put you in contact with an agent at a consulate in your region, and then you're going to request the application paperwork. With your documentation, they're going to send you an information sheet and it's going to tell you everything you need, including a little checklist. And on this checklist, there are four items you need to pay attention to. And these four things are on your birth certificate. Are you ready? Because here are the four things. Were you born after May 23rd, 1949 and before January 1st, 1975? Was your mother a German citizen on the day of your birth? Was your father not a German citizen on the day of your birth? And were your parents married before you were born? Now, if you answered yes to these four things, guess what? You qualify. Now it's time to gather information. Here's all the stuff that I had to get for myself and all of these need to be certified copies or you have to have your copies notarized and these are all the things you need to gather from your mother Um, if you're not using your mother as the path and using your grandmother same thing applies this also applies if you were to use your great-grandmother instead of your grandmother or your mother's information again certified copies and notarized copies And you're going to need to list each and every town you have lived in longer than six months since your birth. And you need to do the same for each of your parents since each of their births. And now for the paperwork. They are going to give you copies in both English and German. You're going to want to practice on that English paperwork and make sure you get all of your information correct. Then you're going to transfer that information onto the German paperwork. This particular piece of paper is your declaration. It includes all the information about you. This is the Appendix EER, and this starts to delve into more information about you and your ancestry. And this final piece of paperwork really gets more into your ancestry about your parents or your grandparents or your great-grandparents, depending on whom you are using. Now remember, you do not have to give up your U.S. citizenship to claim your birthright of German citizenship. 
Remember, this is your birthright. Um, once you're proven your ancestry and your application is verified and proven by the German government, you're going to get dual citizenship. This is a big deal. And if you don't have access to family documents like I have, you can do it through various German branches of government or hire an immigration lawyer. If you have gotten all your stuff in order, you're going to send it off to the consulate. They're going to verify all your information, make sure it's in order. And if it is, they're going to send it off to the German government, and it's going to take up to 18 months for them to take care of you. Um, remember, this window of opportunity closes August 19th, 2031. So if you qualify and you have an interest in doing this, do it quick. The wait time is only going to get longer as more people start to apply. Please take a look at the contact information I have listed uh, below. Um, I'm going to have all the links and stuff you need to start your journey. Good luck.